Hello everyone. How are you? In my previous video, we solved set A of 2021 year for International English Olympiad class 1. And today we are going to solve set B for class 1. Let's get started. First section is word and structure knowledge. For questions 1 to 4, choose the correct word that describes the picture and the example is also given. So against question 1, can you see and guess which bird is this? It is emu. The right answer is option C. Question 2, please guess what it is. It's a room heater. Option B is the right answer. Question 3. Which vegetable is this? It is zucchini. Option A is the right answer. Question 4. Can you guess what it is? It's an apron. Option C is the right answer. For questions 5 to 8, choose the correct word to answer the question. Example is also given for your reference. Question 5. Which animal has a thick bushy tail? Is it lizard? No, because lizard has a scales on tail. Is it elephant? No, it has very short tail. Is it squirrel? Mm, that's right, because squirrel has thick bushy tail and a cow has long thick tail. Let me show you how a squirrel looks like. Hey, hi. Can you see that thick bushy tail? Yeah. So our answer is option C. Question 6. Which of these words is a singular noun? Singular means single. So let's see. Option A is boys. Mm -hmm. It's plural. Option B is switches. It's also plural. Option C is village, it is singular and option D is cities, it is again plural. So the right answer is option C, village, which is a singular noun. Question 7. Which sound does a whale make? Is it whistle, roar, purr or buzz? So B buzzes, cat purrs, lion roars and whale whistles. The right answer is option A, whistle. Question 8. Which of these can you taste? So we taste only those things which we can eat, right? Can we eat breeze? No. Can we eat smoke? No. Can we eat carpet? Not at all. But can we eat okra? Do you know what okra is? Okra is ladyfinger, which is a vegetable. And yes, we can eat and taste it. Option D is the right answer. For questions 9 to 13, choose the correct option to fill in the blank. And example is already given. Question 9. The teacher gave Dash a new pen. What could it be? I, we, his or her. The right answer should be or the right pronoun should be her. The teacher gave her a new pen. Question 10. The children dash playing in the park. So we have to observe two things in this sentence. One is the children which is a plural noun. Second, we can see playing. That means it is a continuous tense. Something is happening continuously. So, first of all, between is, are, was and have, the plural verbs are are or have. These two, right? And when we have playing, that is a continuous tense, we generally use are with the plural noun. So, the children are playing in the park. Option B is the right answer. Question 11. I study in dash class 1. Is it A and the or no article? 
Here we will not use any article. Rather, we will simply say I study in class one. So D is the right answer. Question twelve. Fox is a dash animal. Now here we have to select the suitable adjective. What kind of animal fox is? Hmm, long, happy, clever, or huge. The right adjective is clever. Fox is a clever animal. Option C is the right answer. Question thirteen. My father is not dash home. Now let's find the suitable preposition. And the suitable preposition should be at because it is used to show exact time and place. My father is not at home. Option A is the right answer. Question fourteen. Choose the word that means same as find. So let's see. Is it lose? No, we are finding something. Is it miss? Again, no, we are finding something. Is it notice? Yes. We notice something. We find something. It is not bounce. So the correct meaning or the similar meaning of find is notice. Option C is the right answer. Question fifteen. Choose the opposite of wet. What would it be? Without even seeing the option, wet. Opposite is dry. Option A is the right answer. For question sixteen and seventeen, choose the correct spelling. Question sixteen. And looking at the question sixteen, I can see that they are talking about grumpy. And the right spelling is option A. G R U M P Y. Grumpy. Question seventeen. They are talking about nervous. Are you nervous about your Olympiad exams? No, you should not be. Rather, practice more and be confident. The right answer here should be option B. N E R V O U S. Nervous. Moving to the next section, that is reading section. For questions 18 to 21, look at the picture and answer the questions that follow. So please. look at the picture and observe it now let's start with our questions question 18 this is an image of dash picnic please see the image in the given picture we can see sea crab starfish coconut trees right and this all tell us that this is an image of beach picnic option c is the right answer question 19 there is and dash in the picture tent no eagle no crab yes octopus no the right answer is option c crab question 20 mother is wearing a yeah a hat in the picture mother is wearing a hat in the picture option b is the right answer question 21 raj is sitting dash his father's shoulders choose the right preposition it is on because on is used to state the surface of someone or something raj is sitting on his father's shoulders option d is the right answer for questions 22 to 25 read the passage and answer the questions that follow here i want to request that just not only read the passage but simultaneously try to understand also The giraffes are the tallest of all living land animals. They are one of the world's tallest mammals. The giraffes are known for their long necks, long legs and spotted body. Giraffes have small horns at the top of their heads that grow to be about 5 inches. These knobs are used to protect them from an enemy. Male giraffes are taller than female giraffes and can stand nearly 19 feet tall. whereas a female can stand up to 15 feet most giraffes can live up to 25 years of age in the wild giraffes eat a variety of leaves but acacia leaves are their favorite diet with their necks being so long they are able to eat leaves from tall acacia trees they can go many days without drinking water and can live by eating wet leaves now let's solve the questions Question twenty-two. What is the passage about? 
Now you know, right? This passage was about giraffes. Option D is the right answer. What type of tree leaves are giraffe favorite diet? Quick. It is Acacia. Option C is the right answer. Question 24. What do giraffes use to protect themselves from an enemy? They use they use their horns to protect themselves from an enemy. Option D is the right answer. Question 25. What are the giraffes known for? That's an easy one. They are known for their long necks. Option A is the right answer. Moving to our next section that is spoken and written expression. For questions 26 to 30, choose the correct options to complete each conversation. And the example is already given. Question 26. Reena, can you get me dash oranges? Rahul, sure. What will come? Is it much, any, some or fewer? Take a guess. The right answer is option C, some. Can you get me some oranges? Question 27. Joy. Look, there is a rabbit. Krishna, dash and then there is a question mark. I can't see. That means Krishna is asking where it is. I cannot see. So the right answer should be option D, where? Well, I can't see. Question 28. Sonu. Hey, did you sleep well? Shalu. Yeah, I slept. Dash well. Will it be really well? Enough well? Often well? Or more well? The right adverb should be really well. Option A is the right answer. Question 29. Mother, switch off the light and dash to sleep now. Now here we have to use the verb. But which form of verb? Now when we say that we have there is a to after the verb, generally we use base form of verb. But which one is the right one? Move to sleep now, came to sleep now, go to sleep now or let to sleep now. The right answer should be option C. Go to sleep now. Question 30. Rita, please dash for me. See ya. Okay, come fast. So here is a request being made. Waited, waiting, waits or wait. Here again we are going to use the base form of verb. And the base form of verb is option D, wait. Please wait for me. Moving to our last section that is achiever section and it holds double marks so please be very alert or cautious while answering all these questions. For questions 31 and 32 choose the correct option to fill in the blank. Question 31. How dash do you visit the city park? Now here they are asking about the frequency how frequent you are visiting the city park and the right option here should be Option B, often. The correct adverb to be used is often. How often do you visit the city park? Question 32. Ramesh dash solve the tough puzzle. Quick salt, slow salt, quickly salt or slower salt. We are going to use the correct adverb over here and the correct adverb is option C, quickly. Ramesh quickly solve the tough puzzle. Question 33. Choose the correct spelling. And looking at the question, it seems that they are talking about acknowledge. The right spelling is option A. A C K and O W L E D G E. Acknowledge. Question 34. Choose the correct action word from the given options. What is the action word? Action word is actually a verb. The word that tells about the action being performed. Sentence is We visited Golden Temple last year. So what is the action being performed here? It is visited, right? So option A visited is the right action word or right verb. Question 35. Choose the correct option to complete the conversation. Zafar. 
What is the matter? You look so dash. Pizza? Nothing. I am just thinking about something. So what will come in the place of blank? Will it be quit, quite, quiet or quilt? The right answer should be quiet. Zafar is asking what is the matter and why Fiza is keeping silence? Why she is so silent today? Quiet means keeping silence and that is going to be the right option for us. Option C, quiet. With this, we have successfully completed our class 1 International English Olympiad question paper. Keep practicing more and more question paper and be assured for your Olympiad because with the more practice you will learn more. Keep watching these videos, it will be very helpful for your examination. And also share with your friends and family to subscribe the channel. I'll be posting many more. Thank you and happy learning.